Bwana Yesu asifiwe. God is good. At all the time, God is good. I'm blessed to, to come again and share the word of God together. And here we are, we thank God for this new month on Blessed Sunday. And it's good when we thank God, and also when we dwell in his presence, because in everything that he does, he do according to his will, and he knows the purpose of every person, and he knows all about our lives, and that's why we every time we need to thank God, and even to appreciate his greatness, because he is our loving father, he's our caring master that he loves us every day and night, he cares for us even the time that we cannot imagine that we are living. Many people have left us during this season of uh, Christmas and the season of, uh, uh, as we were approaching the new year, many people have left us. And we are life, it means we have a journey to move. And also we have more things that we are supposed to accomplish in the kingdom of God. Not only in the physical life, but in the kingdom of God, God has given us more opportunities so that we can serve him. And in everything that we know that God has a great purpose upon our lives. And I want us to share the small about God and also to know the purpose of God and why God created us in this world. And also we know what we are we supposed to eliminate in our lives so that also we can serve the Lord, also we can move the dream six, five days uh, as we are working with God because it's not easy, but we need more graces from God also so that we can overcome. We don't know about our tomorrow. We don't know what God plans us for us. We don't know the, the, the lifespan that we have in this world. We should know the purpose of time that we have. We use it uh, nicely. And also we know that we were created to do the will of God and also to bring the purpose of life. Praise God. And let us pray. Our dear everlasting God, I want to thank you for this afternoon. I bless your holy name for your name and for your wonderful day. And I, th I thank you, Father, for this blessed Sunday. God, you have done marvelous for us. You have done great things unto us, O oh Lord. And that's why we thank you for who you are. We bless your holy name for there is none like you. I worship you and I glorify your holy name. God, as I'm going to share your word, I pray that for the transformation, Jesus Christ, from the bottom of my heart, that Jesus, you may transform me to overmight this year and you pros, uh, transform my father the lives of many people in this world and this truth the people who will watch this channel oh god my father i know you have a great purpose to your children may you touch them may you my father enlighten them may you jesus remember them wherever they are and i thank you and i praise your holy name there is none like you and i worship you in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit amen Mimi ni punguwe, wewe uongezeke. Mimi ni punguwe, wewe uongezeke. Uongezeke, Yesu. Lord of God to be more in our lives and today I just I just want us to know and also learn small about sin um when God was creating the world all the the everything that he created he had a great purpose upon our life and sometimes we tend to, uh, to know what is life uh sometimes we are unable to define about life we are unable to define about our life, our future. 
we can't even tell about tomorrow, but we have future. And also we have dreams about tomorrow. But also we can define sometimes life according to the way life is because it has its own dimensions and dynamics. Every time you are in a certain uh, a test, you are in a certain challenge, you are going through different challenges in life. And also sometimes you fail to understand what kind of life is this. Today you are enjoying, tomorrow you are crying, today you are sick, tomorrow you are healed. Now it, those are the dynamics of life that we are facing every day. And life is a journey that you cannot end it up. You cannot end it up until dead and you cannot define unless you die before <laughs> you have died before that's why you can define life because it has its own process it has its own dimensions and demand dy dynamics in our lives it has got its own dynamics and life of the human being does not determine by the world or what you have your life does not determine who you are today or the physical appearance that we see today. The way people look at you does not define about tomorrow. The way people are just looking or they can judge you, it does not mean tomorrow you will be like that. Maybe the job that you are today does not define about tomorrow of you. That's how we cannot define life. Because life is a process today, day and night, we need to work on it. It's a process whereby we need to work upon our lives and even both physically, spiritually and mentally, we have to work on it totally. We need to surrender everything to God because God just made it to be like that so that also we cannot understand about tomorrow because many of us could have killed God if they have, uh, they have met him or faced him physically. They could have killed him, but because God just ended that purpose of life and also about life, you cannot know about how your lifespan is. That's why today you are supposed to be doing the things that you know they are taking you to the kingdom or they can help you to serve. Because every day God knows what you are going through, but you cannot know where it came from. But God knows and he has a reason. Does it mean that because you are facing challenges, God does not see the challenges that you are going through? He knows. But he is expecting you now to take courage about life and also to give yourself courage that I I have to move every time and every hour. I have to work on my life. I have to work on the challenges. I have to make those challenges to be the, 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 the life changer of my life and of my family. Praise God. So when we understand who we are, when we know about our future and our purpose, when you know why God created us in this world, we cannot even uh, uh, complain about our lives. We can do more great things because God created us to do many things in, his, in this universe. And because his love enjoys forever and he knows the purpose that he has for us, uh, it's good when we understand the purpose of living. Praise God. And sometimes the things that we do, the things, the things that we commit ourselves to, they are the ones that makes us not to live the promises of God or also to know the kind of life that we are living. Uh, when you read in the book of Luke chapter 12, verse 15, Nasema, and he said to them, take in and be aware of all the convertuous towardness a man's life does not consist in the abundance of his procession. And he told them a parable saying, The land of the rich man brought forth plentifully, and he thought to himself, What shall I do? For I have, for I have nowhere to store my crops. And he said, I'll do this. I'll pull down my pants. Uh, my bands and build larger ones, and there I will restore all my grain and my goons, and I will say to my soul, Soul, you have a uh, apple good land up for many years. Take your ease and eat, drink, be merry, 
drink, be merry, but God sent to him full. This night your soul is required to you of you and the things you are prepared, you are prepared. Whose will they be? So is he who lay up the treasure of himself and is not rich of the one to want towards God. Amen. That we may think that the pleasures of this world where we have come from, the money that we have, we might read that because we serve God now, we are contacted with what we have. Because you pray, uh, you serve God, you have the opportunity in the leadership of the church. Now you see as if now you, I'm rich now, the right time, ama wakati ambapo, nimetosheleka. When you feel spiritually, you are, you are com com you are comfortable or you feel in your spiritual heart that you are contacted with what you have. It means is the failure of your life. That's where you are starting to fail, where you are starting to fall down. Because this rich man thought that because now he has London is store because of the things that he and, uh, he and others send in his land. Now I have to rise and eat and drink. But then God told him, you foolish man, sometimes we are, many, we are very foolish in our spiritual life. We think because we go to church, we have everything. We think because we go to church, because every time we don't mean to church, we don't mean to, to fellowships, that we are contacted and that we are okay. We are foolish. You and I, we are foolish. We need more to work more on God. How much do we know about God? Have we finished the Bible and know what the word of God says? Have you completed the promises of God that he has promised us to, to also to do a research and know that God loves us? Sometimes we give up and we say that we are contacted by what we have received. It is good when we know the purpose of us living and what hinders not to live the purpose of God and also to know more about our future. It is sin. Dambi. Dambi ya kujiona tumetosheleka. Praise God. I just want us to, to look up, up, upon the, the, the mortal sin. Ama the deadly sin. Uh, um, when you read in the book of Numbers, uh, Numbers chapter, Ama Esabu, uh, Numbers, Numbers 23, uh, from verse 8. How can I curse whom God has not cursed? How can I denounce whom the Lord has not denounced? For from the top of the mountain I see him. From the hill I behold him. Lo, our people dwelling alone and not reckoning, reckoning in itself among the nations. It's about the Balaam and Balaki. Now, yes, why, how can I cast the people that God have not cast? Sometimes we just cast people, we do the sin of cursing people and denouncing the ones that are not supposed to be denounced to people, just calling people names that are not supposed to be called, and we are Christians. That's the life and Dambi ambao sisi wenyewe tunafanya, tunakosa kujua ya kwamba, kuna yale ambao mwenyezi mungu amepanga kwa kila mtu. So, dambi zingine ambazo tunafanya na tunatenda sisi wenyewe tunonakana kwamba tutendi dambi. Because mungu ametumba vile tulivyo na ametubariki, hametu empower, hametu anoint, lakini tunasau ya kwamba, 
Hile anointing mungu ametupatia si ya kulaani watu wengine ni ya kuwabariki na kuwainua waende kiwango kingine. Lakini mara nyingi huwa yale ambao sisi tunatenda tunasauja kwamba mungu anao mpango katika maisha yetu na tunapaswa pia kutakia wengine mipango miema. Lakani wakati ambapo tunalawani hiyo ni dhambi ambao tunatenda ni dhambi ambao ni ya kifo sisi ambao hatuwezi tukaweza kuzuia yale mungu ambao amepangia binadamu. So hata ukifanya mambo ambayo yajafai, hata ukipanga katika ya maisha upangia watu wengine mitawa ambayo ifai, sin gone sees, hiyo ni dhambi ambayo tunatenda. And now kwa tika umuaka, kuna vitu ambayo tunasaili tujiondole, if your turn was used to curse people, and even to denounce different ones and to utter any only, our ones to people, even we can't bless them, it's good when this year we start blessing people and even raising them to another level, remembering that God has a great purpose in every life of every person. That you see wewe peke yako tu Mungu alikuumba. Kuna some souls Mungu angetumia and why God alikuchagua wewe ukae katika hiyo nafasi so that you can empower people. Why are you using what God has given you? as a weapon to curse people. The anointing God has given you. The opportunity. Maybe you are a certain alinda. Maybe you are in a position where by God has chosen in that company, in that institution that you are working to. And God wants you to raise many people because of the spirituality that you have in you. But you are using it, the power that God has given you because now you see you are in another hierarchy. You, you, you forget the kwamba that the gift that God put in you all the talent and also the wisdom that God gave you for the books. Also, God wants you to use it wisely and also remember those who are in a, uh, in a, in a lower position that you may lead them to another level. Praise God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. You can read from the book of uh, Isaiah 14. Isaiah chapter 14. Uh, chapter 14 from verse 27 in a same IV. 1427, it says, just a minute. In a same, for the land of us has purposed, and who will honor it? His hand is stretched out, and who will return it back? That what God has pronounced. No one can turn it back. The future that Lord has promised you, no one can turn it back. Ata watu wafanya nini? Ata watu wainuke kiwango gani? Ile mkono mungu amba me stretch ju ya maisha yako. Hakuna mtu anaweza irejesha nyuma. Ule mkono amba mungu has just stressed to lift you up. No one can just... Uh, Pull it back because he has already stretched it and is ready to stretch it more unless you yourself you pull it back by your by your sins, by whatever you are doing, by your actions can pull it down. But already your hand, the law, the hands of the Lord is already stretched up to bless you, to lift you, to, to heal you. For those who are barren, going to give you children. For those who are, are, are praying for the greater things for this year, going to lift you to another level. So it is good to know that the things that are making us to pull our life back is sin. Sin number one, pride. That is one of the deadly sin, pride. It can kill you when you are alive. It can kill you when you are thinking you are walking in the right thing. It can kill you when you are thinking you are doing the right thing because of your pride, you will never be corrected. Because of pride, you can never just listen to other people's teachings because of your pride. You think that you know and no one can shut you down. Praise God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So ni viema wakatiwe mwenyewe unajua. Uombe mungu ama tuombe mungu atuondole leo ya kiburi katika maisha yetu. Mungu atuondole kiburi. Kwa sababu kiburi ni rombaya sana katika maisha ya kiro. Kama umeokoka na mwenyezi mungu amekuita. Hata kama uja okoka mwenyezi mungu anakuita. Ya kwamba kile mungu amekupatia aja kupatia uweze kuringia watu. Mungu aja kupatia uweze kutesa watu wengine. Because you know and you know there is nobody else can stand in that position. 
you start boosting and knowing that nobody else can say nobody else can stand in that position unaanza kuwatesa kwa sababu unajua ungojewe you delay you come late to church because you know if you can't solo no one else can do it because you are preaching and you know there is nobody else can stand with the bible lazima uchelewe na ukubali uito unakaa uko nyuma kwa sababu ya kiburi unataka uitwe majina you can't offer yourself you can't sacrifice yourself because of the pride that is in you that's a failure this year we have to change and ask God to help us to go to another level to tell God to take away the pride in us Atupe moyo wa kunyenyekea. Atupe moyo wa kushuka chini. Atupe moyo wa kujua mapenzi ya Mungu na tunyenyekee machoni pake. Tusaidie wale watu wengine ambao wanaitachi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise God. Tukisoma from the book of James, uh, James chapter uh, James chapter 4 from verse 6 it says But God opposes the pride and um, but God in gives small grace therefore it is says God opposes the proud but gives the grace to the humble submit yourselves bef- uh, submit yourselves therefore to God resist the devil and he shall flee from you praise God ya kwamba Mungu anatupa neema na Mwenyezi Mungu ana anachukia wale watu ambao wako na kiburi wale ambao wanajiinua Mwenyezi Mungu anawadharau na anainua na anawapa neema wale ambao ni wanyenyekevu Mwenyezi Mungu anawainua na wanawapa kibali zaidi lakini wakati kiburi mainuka katika maisha yetu Mwenyezi Mungu anaondoa ile neema ndani ya maisha yako kabla uko na labda uko na kipaji unatembea tu kwa sababu the gift is new and it cannot be taken away from you unatembea tu katika ile hali ya 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 katika ile hali ya kuwa na ile kipaji lakini ndani yako uwepo ulipotea kitambo ama neema ya Mwenyezi Mungu ambayo inatusaidia kustahimili ambayo inatusaidia kutembea pamoja ukisoma in the book of Isaiah chapter 14 verse 12 to 14 asema the price uh, the pride is the desire to be adorned practice practiced and worshiped so wakati ambapo unajinua inamaanisha ya kwamba kiburi ni ile hali ambayo uko nayo unataka watu wa kuinue wa kuabundu wa kuinamie so that you can be noticed it's good when we change from the position that we have secondly jealousy second jealousy wivu watu ambao wako na wivu watu ambao wataki wengine mazuri Watu ambao wataki kuona watu wengine wakiendelea. Nakwambia Mungu anawadharau. Hiyo ni dhambi. Ni dhambi ambayo sisi tunatenda, tunaogopa. Tunashindwa kujua ya kwamba Mungu alituita tukaweze kufanya mapenzi yake. Lakini tunaonea watu wengine wivu. Mungu anainua watu wengine ambao wametupata katika imani lakini kwa sababu ya roho ya wivu tunakosa kuwa support because the position that they are we cannot reach there. So tunaona kiburi. Tunapinga unduma za watu wengine kwa sababu ndani yetu tumejawa na kiburi. Hatutaki kuwa support kwa sababu yule wivu uko ndani yetu. Uwezi ukasaidia watu wengine. Praise God. Ah uh, sometimes unapata mtu anakaa tu analani watu kwa sababu ya wivu. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. When you read the, from the book of Proverbs chapter 14. Ah uh, verse 13 nasema it says A tranquil mind gives life to the flesh, but passion makes the bones rot. <laughs> Who process ah uh, He who oppresses a poor man insults its maker but who is kind to, to the needy honors him Amen Bwana Yesu asifiwe Ya kwamba ambao wako na akili ambazo katika maisha yao 
za binadamu za mwili katika maisha yao mifupa yao inaoza kwa sababu ya wivu because what they give they give for the flesh inafanya mifupa yao inaoza juu ya ule wivu ambao uko nayo kila mtu ako na safari yake ambayo Mungu amemuitia na sisi wote hatuwezi tukakaa katika kiwango kimoja kila mtu ako na kiwango kile Mungu amemuumbia na kiwango kile Kristu Yesu amemuitia kutumika kwa kile kiwango so we should know we have our life uh, possession differently we are talented differently maybe we are, we are talented in the same in the ministry of praise and worship the ministry of healing and deliverance the ministry of evangelization but our ministry is totally different because we are called in a different dimensions praise god bwana yesu asifiwe tumeitwa kila mtu na kiwango chake tumeitwa kila mtu na wakati wake na tunaitwa kila mtu na possession yake so you can't play my possession i can't play your possession kwa nini tuoneane wivu soma in the book of galatians chapter 6 from verse 4 and 5 kwa nini tunaoneana wivu na kila mtu ako na safari yake number 3 laziness uvivu uvivu watu wengine tunamtumikia mungu lakini tu we are totally lazy kuamuka ni shinda kufanya kazi ni shinda tunategemea tu kutoka kwa watu wengine tumeshindwa kufanya kazi tunapenda kuombaomba kila wakati tunaskumwa na watu ndio tufanye majukumu yetu katika kanisa watu wengine wameolewa lakini majukumu yao mawashinda kwa sababu ya uvivu Watu wengi wamenyang'anywa mabwana kwa sababu ya laziness ambao wako nazo they cannot wake up in the morning and cook the breakfast for their husbands so they wamechukuliwa na house girl because they are the ones who can wake up in the morning praise god bwana yesu asifiwe some job opportunities ambao wengine wamepoteza ni kwa sababu wameshindwa kurauka mapema wamefutwa kazi kwa kufika kazini maplate uvivu uvivu Wengine tunaongea mpaka uvivu unatokea kwa mindomo yetu. Atutaki kuwanjibika. Amen. A Proverbs chapter 24 from verse 23 nasema These are the saying of the wise. Partiality in judging is not good. He who says to the wicked you are innocent will be cast by peoples abolished by nations but those who rebuke the weekend will have dilate 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 and angund blessings will be upon them he who gives a right answer kisses the lip prepare your work outside get everything ready for you for you in the field and after that build your house amen you have to plan yourself you have to prepare yourself you need to know what time and when to be done amen amen it is good when you know the purpose of living be not a witness against your neighbors without cause and do not deceive with your lips do not say i'll do not i will i will do to him as he has done to me i'll pray i'll pray pay the man back for what he is he has done i passed by the field of sluggard by the vineyard of a man without sins and lo and lo it was all overgrown with thorns the ground was covered with net, nettles and nettles and its stone wall was broken down then i saw a considered i saw and considered it i looked and received instructions 
a literal sleep, a literal slumber, a literal folding of the hands to rest, and the poverty will come upon you like a rubber and want like a harmed man. Hey, hey man, oh, mba unapenda kulalalala, kujikunyata, kunjikunja, wacha nilale kindogo, wacha tu nijifunikie kuvigumbi kidogo. Ivo ivo ndivyo umaskini unakukaribia usiku na mchana praise god. Kwa hivyo kama umezoea kulala, haupendi kufanya kazi, unategemea zikuje tu, unategemea kupewa, hata huyo bwana uko naye sometimes anaweza kuwa mgonjwa, utafanya nini? Haleluya. Shinda inakukaribia tu. Eh? Hey, that is really, it's very a literal sleep, a literal slumber, a literal folding of the hands to rest. A poverty will come upon you like a robber and want like a, an armed man. Na kwambi ita kupata. Huishiwe, huishiwe na kila kitu. Wakati ambapo, umaskini umekuingi hata mdomo wako, unakuanga, unatangaza umaskini. Praise God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Uh, you can read uh, Matthew chapter 6 verse 32. Ya kwamba seek the kingdom of God first and all the other things shall come after. Tafuta ufalme wa Mungu. You can't win the kingdom of Satan by sleeping. You you sleep all over the whole night you don't pray and you are expecting things to work out. They can't work out, my friend. You have to work on it. You have to wake up and pray. La sivo shetani hata kuingilia, hata ingia umpaka kwa mblanketi yako mta kwa mnalala na yesu kuna mchana. Demo unasama wacha ni lalalala kitambo then tamuka kusali. Unajipata umelala subu imefika. You need to be ready. Watchful. Umaskini tu umaskini wavia vya wavia mali. Kuna pia umaskini wa kiroho. Jinsi ambavyo unashindwa kusoma Biblia, the word of God encourages you every day and night. Inakupa morali ya kuishi. Lakini wakati ambapo usomi neno la Mungu unaendelea ukipungua kila siku katika imani, unadidimia kila siku, kila wakati unarundi nyuma. Katika imani unarundi nyuma, unashindwa hata kwenda kanisani. Number 4, gluttony. Tama, glatone ni uh, ulafi, ulafi. <laughs> Drunkenness has brought a lot of division in the family and the society. In this plane, akuna. Hmm? Tama. Tunatamani kila kitu. Unatamani kukula vitu vya mwanzio. Ile shamba muliachiwa unatamani kuchukua peke yako. Ile kazi mulipewa za community unataka uon peke yako. You opened the company together unataka saizi ikuwa yako peke yako. Tama. A. Ulafi. Unakuandama tu. Hmm? Munapewa vitu mshe autaki kushia na wengine kwa sababu ya ulafi. Unataka wa umiliki peke yako. Roo ya ulafi mekutawala. Number five, anga. Asida. Tasoma Ecclesiastes, a chapter seven from verse nine. Be careful with your emotions. When you speak, band ones for anyone. It will remain forever even if you are forgiven. Amen. Wakati ambapo, umejawa na asida. Na most of the times, mambo ambao tunongia wakati tuko katika hali ya asida, uwe ya naumisa watu sana. Sometimes ina make the death of innocent people wanakufa. Maybe unauwa watu kimaneno, physically, unauwa watu ambao wasaili kufa. Kwa sababu ya asida, lack of controlling our hunger. Kila mtu wako na asida yake, it's not a certain tribe. 
but everyone has his own anger, but it determines with how you maintain it and how you position your heart at what time. How we control it. Hata kama utasamehewa, I'll still remember that I had some once to someone nilimfanyia kitu. Lambda ulimkata, lambda uli, ulimsomea mbele ya watu, that shame. Hata kama hata kusamehe bando, utakuwa unakumbuka si kufanya vitu vizuri, utabaki na ile guiltiness. It will never be forgotten. So it is good we control our ganga because it can make the certain heart to die. That's why it is called a deadly sin. And number six, last. First Corinthians chapter six, verse 19. Sometimes uh, shetani huwa nakimbia sana kwa sababu Anajua familia ama the community ndiyo imehond the kingdom of God. Na mara nyingi anaattack familia kwa sababu wakati ambapo zimesimama. Mambo mingi sana huwa yanatendeka mazuri wakati familia ziko pamoja. Lakini wakati ambapo familia zimetawanyika even the church cannot stand because the families owned uh, the church. Ndiyo unaona watu wengi wameingiwa na tamaa sana uzinzi umeingia katika familia spirit of lust imeingia mpaka kanisani imeingia hata kwa watumishi wa Mungu ambao wanastahili kuongoza kanisa tamaa umeoa uko na mke lakini bando utosheki Mungu alikuita ukaweze kumtumikia lakini bando you, do, you are not contented with what God gave you. Praise God. Mungu ametuita lakini bando tunatangatanga kila mahali. Hmm? Tunatangatanga kila mahali. Uzizi imetujaa, tamaa za mwili haziwezi katuruhusu masturbation. Hmm? Bestiality zimejaa katika familia zetu. Kila kitu tunaona ni sawa tu wakati ambapo tunatenda dhambi ya usinzi. Yaani hatuna 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 instance za kutuambia what we are doing we are doing wrong. Praise God. Tunasahau ya kwamba kuna mapenzi ya Mungu ambaye ye mwenyewe ametuitia na ametujalia. Amen. Uh, first Corinthians chapter 6 verse 19 nasema do you know that your body is the temple of the holy spirit within you which you are from God you are not your own you were brought with price you were bought with the price so glorifying God in your body so wa mwili Mungu amekupatia kwamba it, it temple. Si wako lakini ni hekalu lake. So unafaa kuhifadhi vizuri. Kwa sababu ni hekalu la Roho Mtakatifu na ulinunuliwa kwa dhamana sana. Au kujileta duniani. If you are told to describe how you were formed in your womb of your mother, you can't describe it. But because God created you the way you are, he gave you everything. Aku kupea mwili wa kukutumia kila mahali kwa ukaaba. Aku kupea mwili wa kuwanya na wanaume za wenyewe. Aku kupea mwili wa kuwanya na wanawake wa wenyewe. But God alikuumba ukaweze kumtumikia na kufanya mapenzi yako. Ile kola ambao amekuita kama we ni watawa, kama we ni priest, kama we ni pastor, kama we ni reverend. Serve your possession and allow God also to transform your physical uh, uh, physical desire so that you can change to become a different person amen bwana yesu asifiwe kwa maana tumeitwa na mungu tukamtumikie mungu you can read from the book of uh, wisdom chapter 3 verse 13 to 16 and the last the last point is then grinch tama Luke chapter 12 verse 15 
entering the altars to gain money. Watu wengi walikuwa wanauzia kanisani katika wakati Yesu aliwafukuza kanisani. Walifukuzwa kwa sababu ni yao haikuwa kumwabudu Mungu, bali ni yao ilikuwa ni kuuza na kununua. The prophet ambao walikuwa wanapata pale kanisani, tamaa za mili yetu, tamaa za maisha, tamaa za kuwa watu wengine ndio sisi tukaishi, tamaa za kunyang'anya watu wengine mali yao, tamaa ya kutomtumikia Mungu lakini tunataka kuchukua vile watu wa Mungu wametoa za kutumikia Mungu. Tamaa ya pesa Tunasahau tunapaswa kuabundu Mungu. Tukienda kanisani atuoni atuoni kuabundu Mungu tunaona pesa ile wa Kristo wanatoa. Bwana tusibandilike. Kama umechaguliwa ukiwa kiongozi, unahesabu hesabu ya ile pesa inatolewa jinsi ambavyo utaitumia. Na ni ya kanisa, inafaa kuendelesha kanisa, inafaa kuendelesha nyumba ya Mungu. Ulinyakuwa pesa ya kanisa, watu wanateseka, watu wanalia. Mahitaji yao walitoa kwa ajili ya wakanjinyima wakatoa kwa Mungu wewe umekula that's why your family is suffering that's why you are going through a lot of challenges because there are some things ambacho ulikosa kutimiza kwa nyumba ya Mungu ulipeleka tamaa kwa nyumba ya Mungu Mungu anakupea watu ule katika imani wengine unalala nao wengine unapita nao wengine unawanyanyasa na Mungu aliwakuletea watoto wale wewe uoni tu watoto bali unaona watu, watu ambao unaweza lala nao na uko na mke. Tamaa. Tamaa za mili yetu. Tubandilishe huu mwaka, tuambie Mungu, atusaidie katika zile position Mungu ametupatia. Mwenyezi Mungu atusaidie. Doing evil things using God's word and name. Hmm? Tunaambia watu Mungu amesema Mungu amesema Mungu amesema because of the evil you want money unatumia njina ya Mungu bure. Hmm? Unandanganya umetumwa na Mungu na hujatumwa because you want money. Why can't we change this year 2022 and ask God to 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 change our life and also to convert our life to be a better life. Saul was doing evil things. But wakati alikutana na Mungu he was ready to change despite he fought with the angel but he finally he surrendered why can't we surrender despite all the time we have been living in Christ but we don't change why can't we now today and this 2022 I make a decision of change let's we be transformed because Yesu anatuhitaji tubandilike tutoke katika ya maisha ya dhambi The things that we are praying we don't get because the, our actions are worse than what we are praying. God when sees you, he see a lot of worse things in you. The evil things, the evil dreams. Hmm? You are witch. Yes, you are killer. You have killed many souls through your words. Through your actions you have killed many people. How many people have just changed the the church because of you? They can't be ministered by you because you are just humiliating them. You love those who have money, those who can give you money. Hallelujah. You minister to those who are are, are okay financially. We are servants, we have to change. Mali popote Mungu amekuita you have to change. Stop corruption. Tuachane na tamaa. Romans 3 chapter 20 verse, uh, verse 23. We confess our sins and God will forgive us. Tuambie Mungu atusamehe. Kama tutakubali kutubu na kumuomba msamaha atatusamehe. Lakini kama hatuko rende kusimama na kuomba atusamehe hatutaweza kusimama. So katika huu mwaka na katika huu mwezi tuambie Mwenyezi Mungu anapotembea nasi atusamehe katika hii hali. Atuondolee hii hali ambayo tumekuwa tukiishi. Katika hizi dhambi ambazo sasa zingine tuonangi kama si dhambi kubwa but they are the endless thing that can make us die while we are alive. Tuombe. Mungu mfalme Mungu wa rehema tuko mbele zako mfalme mchana wa leo. Tunajua ya kwamba sisi ni wenye dhambi na tunakiri Bwana utusamee kwa makosa ambayo tumetenda. Tunaomba ututakaze na utuoshe kwa damu yako. 
tunaomba ututakase na utusafishe e bwana Baba kwa dhambi ambazo tumetenda kinyume na mapenzi yako. Baba kwa tamaa ambazo tumekuwa nazo za huduma, tukakosa kutumikia Bwana. Kwa tamaa ambazo tumekuwa nazo katika uongozi, tukakosa kutumikia na kuelekeza wanao. Mungu tunaomba huruma yako. Tutakaze e Bwana maana tunakuhitaji. Tunakaze e Bwana maana tunakupenda. Tutakaze e Bwana na utuelekeze siku ya leo Mungu wetu. Maana without your forgiveness with Without your mercy, Mungu atuwezi tukafaulu. Tutakaze e Bwana. Tusamee sisi wanao Mungu wetu. Tusamee Mungu wa rehema. Hatuwezi bila wewe Mungu wetu. Hatuwezi bila wewe mfalme. Hatuwezi Mungu wa rehema, bali tunahitaji neema yako na ushindi wako. Tukutamani e Bwana. Tunakutamani Mungu wetu. Tusaindie na ututakaze riba shaka rabo zaya. Wewe ndiye nguvu yetu na msaanda wetu bwana wa majeshi. Baba tuondoe katika hizi hali za tamaa. Baba wivu, gluttony, greed oh Lord. Listeners oh God our Father. Riba shaka rabo zika tusame Mungu wetu. Tutakaze maana tuwezi bila wewe Mungu wa rehema tusaidie Bwana the spirit of lust oh God tuokoe Mungu kutokana na haya mfalme wa rehema How from the sin of masturbation Lord Jesus from the sin of adultery tusamee Bwana na tutakaze tunakuhitaji Mungu wetu for we can't do without you neema yako Bwana yatutosha Huruma yako ya tutosha e Bwana tusamee Mungu wetu. Baba samee all the listeners who will listen to this my father king of glory. Baba tusaindie na ututakaze tuoshe kwa damu yako. Tuoshe e Bwana maana tunakuhitaji zaidi tunahitaji neema yako. Tunahitaji msaada wako Bwana sisi hatuwezi bila wewe. Tunakirimia huruma yako mfalme jioni ya leo Bwana wa majeshi tembea nasi katika huu mwaka kwa maana tuwezi bila we Mungu. Oh God have mercy on us. Oh God we are all sinners. We are committed all sorts of sins oh Lord have mercy on us. Riba shekarabo. Rikantarabo zekeri mazaya rima mama zekarabo zika. God have mercy on me and mercy on us. Tu saindie Mungu wetu rikerebo zikara mazaya rimashenderebo Wewe ni msaanda wetu Mungu wetu tu saindie Mungu wa rehema Tukuhitaji Mungu wetu tuondolee haya madhaifu yote Mungu Tumejaona tamaa Mungu katika nyumba yako tumekosa kutimiza mapenzi yako The purpose that we hand for the church God we have destroyed we have lost this mantle to my father the rules that you and put my father upon our church to to our Lord Jesus Christ my father our creed Oh Lord have mercy on us Have mercy on us oh Lord Tusamee Bwana Tusamee Mungu wetu tusamee For we are in need of you our Father Tusaindie Mungu katika hali ya kulemewa kwetu Baba tunakuabundu na tunakuinua maana unatosha Kuna aliye kama we Mungu pokea sifa na utukufu maana unatosha kwa jina kula Yesu Kristu tunaomba na kushukuru. Amina 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 amina. Kwa jina la Baba la Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu. Amina God bless you I'm Princess Jen Rose. May you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, just share with others because it's the wonder of God wherever you go. Just share view and God will bless you more. Let me too next time. And God loves you. Have a wonderful and beautiful 2022. Let's go with Christ and let's also surrender our hearts to Jesus. Shalom. God bless you.